Yeah, here we go. Oh, here's, oh, this is a really good one. Hello, I'm Bob Hartzler with Iowa State University Extension Outreach, and today we're gonna to be talking about weeds that are in the Solanaceous family. A lot of people would call this the nightshade family or the tomato family. And a lot of our weeds come in the same families that uh, have important crops. And so this family, you know, the crops most people be familiar with are tomatoes and potatoes. So they're um, all in the same family. And in this little garden here, we have four uh, of the most common uh, solanaceous weeds that we find in Iowa. This here is Eastern Black Nightshade. And it's a nightshade that you'll find most frequently in crop fields. It's a lot less prevalent now than it was back in the 60s and 70s, uh, simply because of introduction of new herbicides. Uh, this used to be what we would call a driver weed in the 60s and 70s because it was well adapted to the management systems farmers used in those times. And there actually was uh, a herbicide that had its marketing campaign saying, telling farmers to use this product to end the nightshade nightmare. And so, Easter black nightshade is not all that competitive, but it was a real problem in soybeans, largely because of these uh, berries here. And you can see these berries are the exact same size as a soybean seed. And so when you would harvest the crop, if the berries were still immature like this, uh, you couldn't separate, the combine couldn't separate them from uh, the soybean, so they'd go into the grain. If they were mature, then that was when it really caused problems because those berries would smash inside the combine and plug the screens. And so that was what was referred to as a nightshade nightmare, uh, having to you know, clean out the, the nightshade from the, uh, the screens. So the nightshade, I like to say it's one of those nondescript plants. There's nothing really distinct about it in terms of identification. It has these leaves that are somewhat triangular in shape. They have irregularly, irregular margins. Uh, some of the leaves will have little teeth like this, whereas other leaves are undulated or have what we'd call a uh, entire margin, so no teeth. But the, here's a leaf where you can see distinct uh, teeth on it. The leaves are opposite. They're what I call frail because they bruise very easily. Uh, you, you bend them over and uh, they just break real easy. One characteristic that's really good to help identify members of this family are the flea beetles love to feed on solanaceous weeds. And so a lot of times, if you look here, you can see these little holes in the leaves. Uh, and those are from flea beetle feeding. And any time you're in a field and, and find a uh, weed that has lots of these little um, random holes in the leaves, that tells you it might be something in the solanaceous family. So it's, it's pretty much glabrous, it lacks hairs. The uh, stems are uh, smooth, uh, again, lacking hairs. Uh, it's sort of erect, but lots of different branches. 